Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Antonimo Bay, and it's been another weird week of comic book purchases. Um, a lot of stuff has come up that I did not expect or think was going to happen, but it all seemed to happen all this week. Um, we had a comic book show in town uh, that came to our Holiday Inn. Uh, we don't have a functioning comic book store in this town. It's kind of a small town, only about 30000 or so. Uh, we have a store that says it's a comic book shop, but it actually just handles uh, gaming stuff, which is a big letdown. Anyway, uh, this store from Texas comes through and they do like a, a show where they just like have a, a big room full of comics and people come in and buy stuff. And anyway, um, I went to that. I was very excited to do it. And here's what I got this morning. I picked up Alien Worlds. I believe this is number five. It's one of my favorite covers from Alien Worlds. Um, had to get that. It was only a buck. Uh, even though I have a full run of Vanguard Illustrated, I picked up um, issue number three, issue number four, and issue number five. Probably going to be sending those to a friend of mine. They were only a dollar, and they're too cool to not get for him. Uh, I picked up, these were, these were our, I think, out of the 50 cent bin, this one was. Uh, the Warlord number 46. I'm a huge Warlord fan. I have his first appearance. I have most of the entire run I'm working on. Um, I got issue 23. Issue number 18. That one was a dollar. Clearly marked. Um, got issue number 70. Issue number 72. Issue 88. Issue 129, issue 130, and 131. And that's like a big thick one, so it's a little different. Oh, I also picked up, because I saw them, I picked up uh, Betty Page number one from Dynamite, and Betty Page number two. Now these, they have like a kajillion different covers for all of them, but I, these were the most I think classic looking of all of them. So that's what I went with. Also picked up, I found this, I thought it looked really great. Uh, Supergirl number 15. Uh, Savage She-Hulk number 22. It's some sort of Marvel variant edition. I wasn't really sure what it was. I just know that it's kind of a zombie version of the first appearance of She-Hulk. So I was, I was all about that. I'm gonna grab that. Um, these are really rough shape, but they're uh, Weird Tales of War, or Weird weird War Tales, or however they say that, issue number 101. Uh, these things have great covers, they're just crazy. Like I said, these issues are really rough, but they were a dollar, and I'm probably not gonna get to, to even crack one open for that at any other point. This one's actually missing a chunk of the cover, but you know what, a buck, I'm, I'm in it for a buck. I will do that for a dollar. I picked up uh, the Valkyrie miniseries uh, number one and three. I didn't need to buy number two because I already have it. I grabbed this. I don't know anything about Venture, but it's an AC comic and I'm a huge AC fan. That's the same people that make uh, um, the Fem Force. I grabbed Toxic Avenger number six. Found Sensational She-Hulk 39. Here's a weird little series that was pre-boxed, but it's missing an issue. Uh, Dakota North, number one. Number two. Number three. And number four, for some reason. Or number five, I don't get number four for some reason. Felt kind of screwed on that, but what are you gonna do? I picked up Sectars, number one, for 50 cents. Uh, Sectars number five. That one's a little rough, but it was only 50 cents. Sectars number four. I was just, I not a huge Sectars fan, but anytime I see comics based on like those old cartoon shows that I used to watch, I'm into that. I like it, which is also why I picked up oh, the saga of Crystar, Crystal Warrior. I don't remember if this was a cartoon, but I certainly remember it was a series of action figures. I got Crystar number three, 
two and three. My bad. I thought those were were probably worth what I paid for them. Fifty cents. I uh, found a, a, a Malibu version of X Mutants for number fifteen for a dollar. I have this book. It just <coughs> oh, sorry. It was fifty cents. Come on, it's profit number one. Um, this I think it's the Sister Scarlet. Um, I just bought because the cover art's great, and how can you say no to those size? Uh, power pack with Beta Ray Bill number nineteen. Power pack with this awesome, like, hazy painted cover with a Sark on there. Love that. Um, I love anything with warp in it. So I grabbed that. Uh, warp special number two. I grabbed warp number 12, dragon bonus factor. Um, warp number four. Troll Lords number three. Troll Lords number two. And I already have Troll Lords number one. So I was pretty jazzed about that. Uh, I picked up Punisher 2099, issue 5. Punisher 2099, 6. Issue number 9. Issue number 11. Issue 14. Issue 17. Um, it's sort of lame-ass series, I know. But I grabbed Ravage 2099 um, because I'm pretty sure this is one Stan Lee wrote, actually. As, as bad as that sounds. It's one and two, issue three. I'm just a fan of the 2099 universe. It's so dark and depressing. And there's Twirl Lords number eight. I grabbed Silver, Silver Sable number 23 just because I loved that cover and I like that it had Deadpool on it. Solson's comic uh, talent Star Search number one. I thought that was just nuts. Um, Femme Force number six. I have this, and I have a lot of Fem Force, but it, if I see a Fem Force for under a dollar, I I'm gonna probably get it. It's just too good of a comic to leave there. Um, I really loved these Hawk and Dove covers, so I got issue six, seven, um, issue five, two, issue one. Pretty excited about that. Uh, I love first comics, even if they're not very good. So I picked up Shatter. We know Shatter is probably not a great title. Um, and if you think the covers look weird, it's because it's, as it advertised, the first computerized comic book. Very digital art. Kind of odd. Whatever. Um, I got The Web, number one, because it's an Impact comic. And I love kind of obscure Impact heroes. Web 2... Web 3, Web 4, 8, 12, 14. I thought that cover looked pretty cool. That's pretty much all the webs I found. But for 50 cents an issue, um, I shouldn't leave, you shouldn't leave those for 50 cents an issue. They're, they're pretty cool looking. Um, I found an issue of Whisper that I don't have for issue number 11 for 50 cents. Um, I thought I knew Wonder Man, but I had no idea about this Wonder Man cover. And so for 50 cents, I'm buying that. Um, I also picked up uh, from his later series, Wonder Man number two, Wonder Man three, number four, five with guest starring the beast, duh. Uh, Wonder Man number six, seven, and that's pretty much all the Wonder Man's I got. I keep keep doing that like I'm gonna have more and then I stop. Um, I grabbed Superboy number two because I have Superboy number one and it just looked fun. It looked like a cool title to me. Um, I grabbed Generation X number three. It's a book that I've never had that one. I've had all of them but that one uh, from the AOA. Generation X number two because I wasn't positive if I had it. Um, and like I said, once again, these are all just 50 cents. If you see them and you're not sure, you know, you should try. There's Generation X number 10. There's Gen X number 11. I know I didn't have this Gen X number 26. I grabbed Impact Comics The Fly. Back this up slightly. Just so I can keep getting them in there. Uh, I got Fly number two. Like I said, I love Impact Comics and I love these kind of obscure heroes. Uh, my first one was uh, 
the Jaguar. And after I read the Jaguar, I will take any of these weird impact heroes. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, fly number four. Number six. Number eight. Eleven. And an annual. And this just looked weird. It's uh, Marvel Comics. First issue, it's called Cops, The Job. I have no idea why she's unbuttoning her top. Makes no sense. It's actually a very depressing uh, story of a lady on her first day as a cop. I picked up another issue of Cable 15, simply because it's the first appearance of Marrow, and I am a fan of Marrow. Um, Air Raiders number one and four, because if you've ever seen Air Raiders toys, they're great. I don't remember there being a show, but I remember that the toys were awesome. They're very, very tiny little armies of guys. I picked up uh, X-Mutants number seven. It's an Eternity issue because I know I do not have that one. Um, I'm pretty sure I have this, but sometimes I'm not sure if I have it or if I've just seen the advertisement for that issue in the next issue. So anyway, I was sure to grab that because it's a beautiful cover. I also grabbed another issue of issue one simply because I love that cover. Huge fan of that. It's got raptors on it and everything. It's good. Um, I grabbed Epsilon Wave number one, two, and six because it is independent 80s weirdness that's good. I also saw E-Man number two, number 23. I had no idea they made this many. And issue number four. Because it was a bargain bin, I grabbed Elven zero and one. Not great Malibu books, but... I am trying to be a Malibu completist, so I couldn't leave it there. Elf Quest number 28. Elf, Elf Quest 20. Number 18. I grabbed Dalgota number 6. Number 2. Number 3. And number four, because I know I have number one, and this is actually a pretty decent uh, series. It's it's one of those more 80s, strange, independent type books. I uh, found an AC Comics uh, reprint. I couldn't leave that for, for 50 cents. Robotics um, for, for 50 cents. How could I not? Um, grabbed Ultra Force Zero. Uh, Vox number one, two, three, and four. I have never heard of this, and I've never heard of Apple Comics, and that's why I bought it, because I have never heard of them, and I want to. Um, GoBots, number one. Um, used to be a big GoBots um, apologist, I guess. It's not bad. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. The art in the book is really weird. Um, Legends of the Star Grazers. I just got it because it looked like a kind of like one of those PC comics that I've been getting uh, flare issue three because it was only a dollar um, edge of chaos another PC title X mutants number eight another eternity title that is pretty much what I got at the show this morning um, I thought it was a very satisfying haul I'm totally out of room up here on my little thing I'm going to pull these down real quick because I have a couple more things. But that was that was this morning's show haul. Pretty, pretty satisfying day at the comic book show. Now, the other thing that happened is I got a little bit of mail. And in the mail, I got Alien Encounters, number one. Alien Encounters, number two. Issue number three. I think these covers are just amazing. Alien Encounters, issue four. Um, issue five. There is a little gap. Issue number six. I don't have issue number, number seven, but it comes back to eight. Issue number nine. Issue number 10, which I already had and was really impressed with, which is why I bought the rest of them. 
Issue number 11, issue 12, Alien Encounters number 13, and 14, which I believe is the last issue. And in the mail, I also got Tomb Raider. This is after, this is, uh, takes place after her, uh, the first video game, which is an absolute thrill of a video game. I absolutely love a game. Wasn't as impressed with Rise of the Tomb Raider, the sequel, but the first game, very nice. Uh, so I got one, three, four, I got issue number five, um, issue number six, and I'm a much bigger fan of this Tomb Raider than I was the, like, I don't know, the Angelina Jolie teal shirt, uh, sunglasses Tomb Raider. I thought this one was just a lot more, more humble and more relatable. I like it. Uh, issue number eight and issue number nine. And that, that's all the comics I got this week. Um, as of this morning. And I got much more after that. Uh, as you might have seen, I, I bought a, a, a ten long box collection from a guy and I'll be going through that later, but I did want to get through these. I don't want them to get mixed in the shuffle with, with this collection I just bought. And yeah, that's going to be a lot of sorting. So anyway, that's my story. Thank you guys for watching. That's the books I got. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.